And on today's episode, we will be looking at a day in the life of the bad goose. If you listen carefully, you can hear the faint sound of the bad goose emerging. And like a light in the darkness, it shines onto our screens and our souls, first learning to move using the left mouse button. The bad goose, or Malum Anserem, uses its beak to interact within its environment as it bears no hands or fingers. And now, with the development of control, it can crouch to pick things up off the ground. And here we see the bad goose foraging for food. But being the trickster of the animal kingdom, it is more likely to ruin the food of other species before it first eats. Here we see it dipping the sandwich into the pond as it knows the human goose does not like his sandwiches soggy but firm, like an apple or a clergyman's lap. Now we see it place the food back as if undisturbed and make its escape. The bad goose, believing it has found a suitor in this farmer, displays its wingspan as if to say, have you seen anything this big before? But feeling the loneliness of the rejection, it then heads for the cabbage. The goose, trying again with the farmer, displays its wingspan, thinking to itself, why couldn't I have been born a pig, then maybe I could have been with a prime minister. It has been known to happen, but only on rare occasion. The bad goose is trying to lure in the farmer with this bountiful picnic that it has stolen from him. Who wouldn't like a long hard thermos at the end of a nice hot day? Singing the song of seduction, it hopes to lure in the farmer into its picnic, but feeling rejection, it scatters away into depression. Bearing the ancient garments of its people, Malam Ansirem challenges the god Poseidon to a battle on ocean and on land. Here, the bad goose believes it has found a possible suitor. Being of similar age, he thinks that they will have more in common, displaying his wingspan as he knows size matters. But it seems the feelings are not reciprocated by the human goose. Therefore, the bad goose has now transformed itself into a Luftwaffe, chasing the human goose around in a display of dominance, shooting it down with its honks and beeps. Radioing to its home planet, the bad goose proclaims, This planet whack, yo, there ain't no goosey minge about. The bad goose, bearing a disguise, once again tries to befriend the human goose stating such things as, I can provide a better life, lots of sugary treats, and fun times back at my goosey land ranch. Although it's offer again being rejected. And there you have a day in the life of the bad goose. Join us again when we look at the most carnivorous species in the animal kingdom, the Kardashians.